Simple bobbing floats mark the spot where that November night in 1975, the vast stormy waters of Lake Superior swallowed the ore carrier, Edmund Fitzgerald, and its crew of 29. Jack Chappell lost his brother, Oliver. When my father died when we were very young, he took over the family. He was 13 years old, but he was a man of the family. And he, along with his crewmates and the shipwreck, remain interred in a 530-foot deep watery grave, a sacred site, some say, that has not always been treated that way. Over the years since 1976, there's been five expeditions to the Edmund Fitzgerald, and never once did anybody ever ask what the family members wanted. This time they came to us and requested that we would work with them to make this the last dive on the Edmund Fitzgerald, recover the belt. With photographers aboard to record the moment, the crew of the Canadian ship Cormorant launched two small submarines. Over on the tugboat Angley and Lady, technicians happily gaped at the images sent back. They showed divers equipped with special breathing apparatus called newt suits, which allow underwater stays for many hours, using blow torches to unfasten the bell from its place in the pilot house. You guys ready to pull this home? With family members looking on from a short distance, they certainly were. Jack Champo couldn't help giving it a gentle touch. Very, very emotional time. The bell will be a lasting memorial to the 29 who went down with the Edmund Fitzgerald to be displayed at the Great Lakes Shipwreck Museum at Whitefish Point. It will be replaced with this replica, inscribed with the 29 names as a permanent grave marker. Farnquist says a ship as big as the Edmund Fitzgerald should never have gone down, even in stormy seas. But he says it's a mystery that may never be solved. But with the raising of the bell and the lowering of the replica, Champo and the other survivors are now ready to finally say it doesn't matter anymore. Creation. Let their loved ones and their ship the rest in peace. And I believe that this will finally put this to an end and uh, we can rest now, as I'm sure he is. Ed Garston, CNN, on Lake Superior.